The essential point that we want to know is anything fundamentally going to change in the Congress party? Chetan, uh, you have written about it. Um, would the credibility of this process be destroyed if um, Malik Arjun Kharge were in fact selected because there is a suspicion and there is a sense that he is the official candidate when the Congress many leaders suggest <coughs> that look uh, we need to have new leadership fresh blood and new thinking. Okay firstly thank you Dr. Ajay Kumar for reading my column I mean I, I um I, I have written columns on the BJP, believe it or not, uh, when they needed the advice, which was well before 2014. In fact, I, I still get trolled for it. I still get told that why were you suggesting what the BJP should do? And I have been one of the first few people, for example, who said that uh, the Prime Minister now, Prime Minister Modi, there was a time at which you could not write anything positive about him in the English media. I mean, that was a different era, different government in power. The English media, especially, he was a person non grata. And I said, you should see the potential he has. That's what the BJP needs to do. So I can send you links if you want. Now, the Congress needs help. Please see it as well-leaning advice. Don't see it as like, oh, it's it's not about, you know, it's, it's BJP is doing so well. They don't need the advice right now. But the Congress, by admission of Congress's own senior leaders, they need uh, to change things, they need to do things. Now, this election, Vishnu, as the column also says, is no longer just about the process of the president election. This is election has taken a different shape or form. This election has taken a family or no family form. Now, it will never... Firstly, what does official candidate even mean? What does, there is no official candidate, but there is a family approved candidate, which is a euphemism. Official is euphemism for that. Now, ideally... Ideally, if the family's grip on the party was very strong, there wouldn't be so many candidates. I mean, there wouldn't be the two candidates, which itself is a big thing. Why are there two candidates? Where did Mr. Tharoor suddenly come from? Ideally, if the family had complete control, they were going to win 300 seats, they would have just said, this person will be the president, which happened in other parties and in Congress in the past. But the fact that there is a real election going on, which is to be celebrated, I give them credit for that. They are doing it democratically, full credit for that. But the fact that this election means there is some voices within the Congress that really want change of the current power structure. Now, of course, I don't know why he found some parts of my column humorous or real, but oh, okay, we know who's going to win. We know that. But the, the more interesting thing is how many votes does Mr. Tharoor poll? How many? If it's like 10, 20, 50, which, you, which, which has happened in the past to the previous people who tried to become Congress president and they were not from the family. Yes, then it's the same old Congress, it, it will all be for nothing, whatever. But if out of 9,000, let's say he gets 1,000 votes, 1,500 votes, 2,000 votes, that still means Mr. Kharge will be the uh, president. Very good. Congratulations. But at the same time, that will mean that there are voices within the Congress which are willing to go against the grain, go against, because it's not about, yes, the family hasn't officially breast. Bless Mr. Kharge, but okay. Mr. Tharoor has gone on record to say that we need change. High command structure needs to change. He has taken on uh, things which right. Which and and have what not. if he gets a higher and percentage? Just going along your article, what if he gets more? Yeah, if he, if he gets the more, then it will be like you know people. Uh, the the delegates are going to feel oh oh. See, because a lot of time delegates say it's a wasted vote, and if by chance someone finds out, see, there's always that anxiety and fear. Then I'm in trouble. But if it's like going to be 1,000, 2,000, let's say, it's like a quarter of the vote, others are going to feel, you know what, we could have made, maybe made real change. Think about it. If Mr. Tharoor comes to power, he is not as big as the Gandhi family. For the delegates, there is more power to go around. Actually, okay. it's better for everyone, all the delegates. But the only reason they're not doing it is because they don't know if it's going to be worth anything. All right.